Okay, so recently I was watching it. Oh, it was just yesterday or whatever. The the video about the future of rendering. Uh, I thought that was such a brilliant video to watch. If you haven't seen it, I'll put the link below. Um, and they're talking about using AI to create this holodeck, and and they do some wonderful stuff. Um, definitely check it out if you haven't seen it. And um, they're doing a whole Star Trek thing theme thing with the archive and stuff like that but where they can say you know i want to an environment you just tell it what environment you want and the ai kind of generates that's the whole concept they want to go with but we're not there at that point yet but they did mention how stable diffusion and blender work now there are add-ons i've been looking at it there are add-ons for it that you can apply to your scene and you know you could you can render this because we're already using AI as you know we're already using AI to denoise our, our scenes to speed up the render time right um, but now I guess it's only a matter of time now but before we just use an AI now to texture our scene or render the lighting of a look of, of our scene or you know or even generate a completely different scene you know from what this is so you can put something basic in and create something completely different um, and that's what I've tried to do so I'm gonna I mean I'll work on the workflow but let's jump in straight into stable diffusion so let's pop this open it's in the web browser here and you need to put um, let's go here it's image to image as though they're not image so I've got this you can see this blender scene it's nothing complicated it's that same UFO ship that I've just showed you here and this building I've just all I've done is just duplicate the building moved it around um, added a few to make it like a little city kind of um, you know and a fake street just really basic just moving stuff around and scaling it around nothing fancy anyway but say I want to you know put this in the AI and see what it creates so let's put in some prompts so I'm just gonna copy paste and I'm gonna put some prompts in here all right really simple now this the crazy thing about this is is it kind of thinks what does the future hold for us as designers and as well because you can take something so simple like this and generate uh, if i just say generate so i'll just change some prompts so we're just going to image to image that's just putting a prompt i haven't put a style or anything so i should have actually set cinematic but i haven't set a depth map I should have set a depth map. So if I enable low ram, low VRAM, pixel perfect, um, I haven't given it a reference. Let's just give it a second to do that. But yeah, so you can see it's generated. I mean, uh, that is cool. It's just generated from a prompt. But as we know, you know, there's no. It doesn't look like this. You know, that's far from, you know, a village of people running. It's cool. It does what you want. A village running away from people, UFOs or whatever. They're running towards it for some reason. Um, but I want it to kind of use my my reference. So you'll need to load in some kind of depth map. So I'm going to say it's depth map. And I want to load uh, the same image. I'll say create a depth map from this image, right? And let's see what it does now. So let's generate. But I'm really impressed with just that. It's cool. But then why do we need this if, we, if the AI can do this? But it's I guess it's level of control. But imagine in the next two years or three years, what where we're gonna be? It's just insane. Look at that. Look in two seconds. You know, a few seconds. It's added all that detail without me having to do anything. It doesn't. It's not as cool as that last image we saw, but it's taken my reference and it's added all these textures and you know detail in the model that didn't exist. Uh, it's not perfect, but I'm sure if you know how to fine tune it, or you gave it um, say proper color IDs on the objects, you can define what's what. And I'm sure you could say um, use you know you can export a depth um, z depth from z uh, what's it called 
a Z depth map from Blender and then with your color ID and even maybe the outline and you could probably have control over over the scene a lot more but it's very impressive let's change that to a city let's take in a city and let's get rid of people running away because we don't have any people in the actual 3D scene so if I added 3D model of people then it would have the right scale because it doesn't know how to scale those from what we're seeing here unless it generates so give me a second to kick in there we go so we're going from a village so it's added this kind of trees you can see this added all those trees in there which is really cool look at that so it's, you can see it's kept pretty much the same shape added the detail you can already see look at that it's not 100% perfect but if you wanted to create a concept of what you want it to look like it's even done the depth of field that's just amazing so I could just imagine what you can do if this is just crazy and this is the depth map is created from this image so I guess if you if you do take that from blender instead and then gave gave it that information I'm assuming it would be a lot more better uh, 10 times better uh, I guess if you don't want depth of field you just say put depth of field in here us uh, say I don't want no depth of field uh, DOF so just nose and then say generate we'll get a completely different look but hopefully we have no depth of field so we can see what's going on in this background Yeah, so now we've got no depth, right? Let's got rid of that depth of field. Got some kind of weird light here. Now I know with um, Stable Diffusion or whatever these AI tools, there are tools that you can move the light as well. So you can say have a uh, an image, a separate image, just to move the lighting and stuff as well, which is cool. Uh, but that's a whole, it's a whole beast on its own, the AI stuff. But look at this. Look at that, I'm impressed. Um, it's a bit noisy here, but it is cool for what it's doing. I don't know why there's a little DeLorean over here or something inside this shot. But look at that, I mean there's still a little bit of depth of field here, but you can see a little bit better. Um, like I said, let's go anime, let's see anime. Um, and let's say, let's say, because right now it's a grey sky, right? But say we want it bright blue sky let's see what happens we might have to change some of the weight but yeah it's just a short video just to sh show you you know I was, I'm looking into this anyway I'll, I'll, I'll play around with it see what I can create if I can render something and keep it consistent but that's that's cool like there's no way I could produce something like this in in a minute no one could do no human could create this in a minute whatever art style you could no one could do that in one minute without AI this is insane it's even added like a little alien bunny thing here got alien tentacle here it looks more like a organic thing than a you know um, rather than this thing whatever this is I've created but um, it's insane let's increase let's increase the the strength give it more creativity so it will allow the allowing the AI to kind of the prompt to do more I assume rather than this image okay and it's created some kind of crazy I don't know what what's going on here it looks cool but it's some crazy scene I don't know what the heck is going on here, but wow! Like, oh, I guess it's attacking the city. You can see the, the shooting the laser beam and explosions, and then it's got our scene here. But then it's kind of changed this into like a floating building, and we've got another. You can see like a city down below down here. That's crazy. 
That's such a crazy scene. Uh, let me get rid of this shadow style. Perhaps that's what's creating this dark look, this Laura that I'm using. It's creating this to look darker than it should. And maybe I have to say daytime as well. Maybe I have to also say it's during the day. Ah, there we go. Anyway, the bright blue sky has appeared. So it was the so the the lauras, the type of lauras they're using does have an effect on it. But look at the building. That that there, taking that simple building to something like that. That's cool. I like this. Let's say let's say daytime. I want to say midday. Let's see if it understands midday. Midday. I'm not 100% with this. Sure about this. And let's say cinematic. Generate. I like that though. That is very cool. I like the style. This it gives you an idea. Like if you want to concept stuff, say, you know, how should I material? How should I texture this? Or how? Even if you just want an idea of what you want to create, so you flesh it out, low poly, and then you say run this through the AI, get some ideas, and then go back and finish it and say, well, this is the kind of look I want. Look at that. Look at that city in the background. Is it even added people here? It changed the whole structure, which is insane. But this is incredible. This is inc look at even the glass, and it has the, the you know has. Look at that. That's incredible. From that to that, wow. All I can say is well, wow. wow. Let's change it to one more last style. Let's go. Poke uh, let's go Super Mario. I was gonna say Pokemon, I saw Pokemon there. But let's go Super Mario. Let's just see. And then I'll end it here. But I will find a better workflow for this. Uh, I know there are add-ons. I have seen there's add-ons on the Blender market um, for this, but I wanna find my own workflow that works. But look at that. Super Mario, Super Mario 3D World. Look, this they tried to the AI tried to create like this Mario, but you can I mean you get the idea. I get I guess you get the idea. Look, imagine where we are in in five or ten years time. Insane. Anyway, enjoy your day, morning, evening, and night. Bye bye.